Hi guys, before we get started, let's just welcome our guests for this video, okay? Are you ready? Da da! So, yes, our guest is a spinning Olaf. Olaf is my very favorite character in Frozen. I mean, I love Elsa, I love Anna, but my heart belongs to this teeny tiny snowman ish thing. Hi guys! So as you can see, this is my cozy corner in my own room and I haven't been filming a video here in a while so I'm really excited to be back here and just talk to you guys like a chit chat video It's also a very long overdue English video if you can tell <laughs> And I've been watching a lot of English news and talk shows and stuff just want to pick up my English back a little bit because I actually filmed twice of this video before and my English just got so bad I just like it's really hard for me to find a word to describe how hard it was for me and also the sun is changing all the time and I apologize for its naughty behavior yeah but the point is I turned 26 last week and it's not a very exciting news to be honest I cannot believe I'm 26 already it sounds like a very old age but today's video is gonna be my channel tradition which is the 26 things I learned at 26 I learned from different people different experiences and just some new challenges along the way so I thought I would share my thoughts with you guys and I hope you guys will like it and find it inspirational somehow so yeah um, uh, let's get started number one keep calm I am a very straightforward person my emotion comes really fast and goes really fast and I find myself being like angry or mad and exaggerate my emotions a lot when I you know find something that's unreasonable or I don't understand I feel like it's good when you're hanging out with your friends or family because because it's good to be transparent and straightforward when you're dealing with like people and people relationship however when it comes to work and just professional field sometimes I feel like a lot of my emotions are unnecessary after a day or a couple days later when I look back I was like why am I so mad if I can keep calm more often I feel like a lot of things wouldn't be so complicated and it wouldn't be so just a hassle number two being positive isn't a talent, it is an option. I got a lot of messages and comments saying that I'm very positive and I feel like I wasn't born with positivity. I definitely have a lot of negative sides that I don't show on the camera. I do try to be positive more often because I believe that positivity will bring more positive stuff. It's totally okay to be negative sometimes but just remember that being positive is not a talent. It's not something you cannot control it is an option and you have the right to decide whether you want to be happy or unhappy number three give it a try before I envy others and their achievements as I turn 26 I sometimes feel like I haven't accomplished anything and I I'm very anxious about that. I do feel jealous at times when I look at others and their achievements, their success. But I do understand that behind the scene, they have a lot of work, they put a lot of efforts, they probably include some pain and sacrifices that we don't see. So if you get jealous at other people, try to put more attention at yourself and just how you can improve yourself to achieve your own goal instead of putting attention on other people's and their achievements. Number four. Make yourself valuable before blaming others for not seeing your efforts. I do have a lot of friends who are working in at different industries. I oftentimes hearing different complaints for other people. So I do have complaints all the time. I will always come back to ask myself if I have done everything I can, if I have done the best of my ability. Because if I have proved my ability, I have proved my value, then I will be recognized. And if not, this is probably not the place I should be. I know that there's so many different circumstances so I'm not uh, speaking for everyone just from my point of view and my experiences I would learn to just check on myself if I have done my best number five be curious um, I found myself having a really bad habit trusting the first thing that people tell me so imagine you have here story a and you just like trust it immediately and when you hear the opposite side which is the story B you started doubting that whether story B is true but when you step back if you hear both stories at the same time you wouldn't trust story A more than story B 
Does that make sense? I'm, I'm just someone who is very easy to convince, okay? So I'm practicing to always stand on the middle ground when um, I'm not clear with everything. I just feel like a lot of people who only sees one side but you know, like refuse to see the other side because they don't want to admit that they're wrong. Number six, things are not doing well does not necessarily mean you are bad at it. Well, to be honest, it might be because you're bad at it. If what you're doing is what you love, but it's just not doing well, probably just give it a little bit more try. Number seven, not everyone is going to appreciate you. So learn to appreciate yourself always at this point in my life i'm so done of like seeking appreciation fulfillment and validation from other people um especially when you're working with people and not everyone's gonna appreciate what you do i don't blame the people who don't appreciate me because i don't think that's necessary it's not their obligations to you know appreciate me does that make sense yeah i just want to encourage every single one of you out there including myself to appreciate ourselves first as long as we have done our best i think that's enough number eight taking care of yourself in real life before talking about dreams when i was young i feel like dream to me was something that we have to you know follow in our lives like if we don't follow our dreams there's no meaning in life we're just being a normal ass person in this universe you know now i have grown up and i realized that yes there are a lot of responsibilities there are adult responsibilities there are employee there are family responsibilities if you don't take care of those first it's really hard to execute your dreams for example i have been financially independent after i graduated from college some of the things i want to do in the future requires me to be financially sufficient and i would be probably out of job for a little while i might not have income for a couple months and stuff if i want to pursue that route i have to save enough money plan really carefully and having like a brief picture of how i'm gonna support myself to have those questions solved i feel like then i can say i'm ready to pursue my dreams this is just me though so uh yeah number nine if it's really hard to step further, it's okay to stay where you are as long as you don't give up. This past year, I have experienced ups and downs and really good and really bad. I do feel like sometimes I'm just so exhausted. When you're so tired, it's totally okay to take a break and just minding your own business. But if you're considering giving up, um some stuff that you really love i would still suggest you to think twice before making the decision number 10 it's never too late to start something you desperately want i wanted to start a youtube channel since i was like 20 and <laughs> I only started doing it when I was 23 or 24. I don't regret this decision at all. I feel like I have gained a lot of confidence. I could never have imagined there's a group of people online who would talk to me like friends and I can share things I want to share in my life. So if you want to start a YouTube channel, do it now. Number 11, you have more than one option in life. I do have a lot of experience in this. When I first moved back to Taiwan from the US, I feel like I'm totally lost. I am hopeless. <laughs> I'm a failure. So growing up, all my friends and family, they're either in Taiwan or in America. So in my mind, I only have two options. So when I first moved back, I was like, okay, great. Now I have lost one option. Now I only have like only one route for me to go. How can I picture myself a year ago of where I am right now? It's, it's crazy. Don't limit yourself and your imagination because you never know. It's really... Number 12, work is work, you are you. I normally feel like work is work and I got fulfillment from work, but I realized that I want to spend more time with myself. I want to spend more time with my friends and family because those are also very important elements in my life. Obviously, when you're at different stage of your career, you might make different choices. It's okay to put more focus at your work, but also please pay more attention to people you love and people who love you. Number 13, the world is not going to be a nicer place anytime soon, but we can. I do have people around me suffered from anxiety and um, depression. And as you guys know, there are people who took their life uh, 
because of negative comments online because all the attacks they received and I always thought why can't we just be nicer sometimes when you leave a comment it's your freedom to do so but is it necessary to leave the comments like that if someone said to me go die I would probably just like heh <laughs> like stupid people but if there are thousands and thousands of people who tells me to die I have no doubt that I would start questioning myself if I really need to be dead and it honestly doesn't only happen on people who are under the spotlight number 14 there's no correct answer to life we just have to live and learn I feel like I'm gonna know everything I'm gonna know my life I'm gonna know myself when I was 20 and now I'm 26 and I'm still looking for that answer so yeah. Um, honestly, I feel like we are changing all the time. The way I think when I was 20 and now I'm 26 is totally different. Don't give yourself too much pressure. We just live and learn. Number 15. Sometimes being selfish is necessary. I feel like I'm genuinely being nice to people around me mostly, which is what I meant by I'm an amazing person. Um, but sometimes you just gotta be a little bit more selfish. You have to consider yourself first before anyone else and that's just normal. Number 16, don't drink too much. Because when you're drunk, you often say things that you will regret the next day. Am I right? Number 17, let your skin rest every now and then. I also learned that my skin has been losing its youth very drastically after I turned 26. So number 18, carrots has officially become the most notorious food in the entire world. I swear by the sentence, okay? I don't understand why people can eat carrots, especially raw carrots. That's something I can never understand. I would bleh. Number 19, tell yourself you are amazing is really important and helpful. I see myself as an amazing individual and I believe you are as well. Let's do an experiment. So we can all wake up and go to the bathroom, look into the mirror and just tell yourself you're so amazing today. And let's try for seven days first. So after seven days, you guys can come back and leave a comment of how you think. If you feel very positive, then just leave a comment and saying, wow, I feel so positive. And if you don't feel amazing, don't leave a comment. Thank you. Number 20. Don't expect your other half to be ideal, only you have become ideal yourself. I would have a couple Q&A which I would explain a little bit more on this issue but as most of you guys know that me and Ian are in long distance relationship so my boyfriend cannot be here with me when I need him. At the same time, I cannot be in Japan when he needs me. So I feel like it's a mutual relationship where if I cannot do the thing for him, how can I expect him to do the thing for me? Number 21, respect people to have different point of view as you. It happens a lot, um, especially politically. I have read a lot of different articles. I have talked to people who are who have different opinion as me and I'm very grateful to have friends who understand and just respect the way that we're different. Showing understanding about different point of view is so important especially nowadays we have we started having discussions about things we weren't talking about for example gender equality, marriage equality, also like what happens in Hong Kong, what happens in Taiwan right now is something that I started paying more attention to. There are a lot of conflicts, there are a lot of different point of views, including within our family. From our generation, I really hope that we can be more respectful to people who are different from us. Number 22, luxury things are nice, but it shouldn't be your life goal. I have never really been into luxury products. Somehow I feel like luxury products uh, kinda represents your social status. And I feel really bad about myself for not having like fancy bags and clothes and shoes and stuff like that. I want to be more financially stable in the future. Then I feel like my goal shouldn't be buying the luxury products but to being able to afford those items and have the options of whether I want to buy them or not. Number 23, follow your intuition, be courageous. So I go with the flow, I trust my feelings, I trust my intuition, and I highly suggest you guys to do sometimes as well. Mm -hmm. Number 24, 
everything happens for a reason i am a firm believer of this line this is almost my life motto i truly believe that everything happens for a reason whether it's good or bad it always leads to something in the future number 25 be considerate, including to yourself. There's nothing I want to add about it. I just hope everyone to be nicer to yourself and appreciate yourself. Number 26, don't let others define you. I have said it once before and I'm saying it again. I seek for a lot of validations from other people when I am working with people online and I am currently doing my YouTube channel as well. It's really easy for me to fall into that you know like a swirl <laughs> our value is defined by ourselves not defined by other people not defined by other things yeah all right so these are all the 26 things i want to share with you guys and i just want to express my appreciation to everyone who's watching this video as well as everyone who is with me throughout the past year i hope that i will be more mature this year i hope that I will be able to take on more challenges and more journeys along the way next year so i wish that you will stick around and experience my life with me that sounds very cringy i'm so sorry that's it for today's video i hope you guys will like it if you do please give a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you would like to and you can follow my instagram it's probably on the screen already throughout the whole video i'll see you guys in my next video bye how many of you guys have seen Frozen and how do you think about it? I personally loved it. And I feel like there are some adult elements in the movie which I think is really cool. So if you haven't watched it in the movie theater, please go watch it because otherwise you won't be able to get this like spinning thingy cup.